Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M53 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup of this phone. Now before I get started I will mention that I already did the like, very first initial setup when the device was unboxed and the reason why I mentioned this is because it does differ throughout the setup just a tiny bit. So one difference that I can tell you would be I can now skip connecting to Wi-Fi which when the device is completely brand new uh, Samsung is literally forcing you to connect to it for some stupid reason and another thing is uh, when choosing I believe your region the device needs to reboot so that's another thing that I I think I will skip though I'm not exactly sure what the what the reboot so anyway let's get started so right here on the first or second page I guess you want to find your desired language I'll be using English and then next page we have connect to mobile network by inserting a sim card or you can just kind of disregard it and go to the next page uh, which will give us some legal documents for review so we have the end user license agreement and whatever this is it's optional you don't need to agree to it the only thing we do need to agree is the first one and this brings us to permissions for samsung apps and services so you can quickly go into them, disable them uh, if you don't want them. And if you open up some kind of app after the setup that requires one of those services, it will bring you a pop-up uh, telling you that it needs access to it and you can on the fly grant it or deny it. And here we have the Wi-Fi connection. So like I mentioned, I can skip this, but if the device would be brand new, I would be forced to connect to it. So if you can't skip it, that's fine. That's kind of normal for Samsung devices. It makes no sense, but it's normal. Anyway, I'm gonna skip this and this will bring me to the next page, which is copy apps and data. So I could go through it using my Google account, though this would at this point probably backtrack me to Wi-Fi connection because it is done through Google account. And because I'm not connected to any network, uh, I would first need to do that. So anyway, I'm going to be selecting don't copy anyway, and this will bring me to Google services. So I have only three of them here. We have location, which is just a GPS tracking for apps like Google Maps, so it works properly. Then we have allow scanning, so this will allow the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And below that we have send user and diagnostic data, which allows Google to uh, spy on you. That's as simple as I can explain this. This will then bring me to uh, the option to set up some kind of screen lock. We have a couple different ways of going about it. We have the face recognition, fingerprint, and additionally, pin, pattern, or password. Now, if you're planning to use any one of the first two, so fingerprint or end fin uh, face recognition, you will also be required to set up pin, pattern, or password. The reason for this is if something would happen to your finger, your face, or maybe the sensors on the phone, uh, you still have some kind of other way to access your device being through pin, pattern, or password. Or you can select skip and not protect your device at all. Now here we are presented with the Samsung account a login page. Uh, the This showing up here is absolutely stupid considering I am not connected to network, so again, it will backtrack me back to Wi-Fi connection. No Samsung, that's not cool. So I'm just gonna skip this, and that's another thing that I absolutely despise. So uh, Samsung is uh, trying to encourage you to join, uh, you know, log into their account, create an account or whatever, uh, because you will, uh, quotation mark, miss out on all of this. Uh, like, it's some kind of amazing features that they're presenting you here with. And let me just kind of give you a comparison uh, to everything that they offer. So we have Samsung Cloud, uh, which is a copy of Google Cloud. We have Galaxy uh, Teams, which is just entirety Play Store. Find My Mobile, copy of Find My Phone. Uh, Samsung Pass, uh, Google doesn't really have a name for it, but you can obviously save passwords to Google accounts. So again, that's another copy. Then I have Galaxy Store, again, another blatant copy of uh, Google uh, Play Store and then secure folder which might be the only original thing that they came up with sadly they keep it at the end and sadly it's also not one of those like uh, super useful things for majority of us so obviously you can see that all of these features right here are just plagiarized from uh, set from Google and all of them 
still exist from Google on this phone because it's running Android, so these are completely useless. So let's just select skip and finish up this setup without actually signing into this account, at least I won't be. And as you can see this presents us with the home screen. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.